Hi and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with a uh, eyeshadow look from a palette palette. This is, will be the first and it will be the coral pink eyeshadow look that I have been doing. The shade that I have used for this look is this from Hot Makeup Palette. This one, I can do swatch. You see, it's a really nice shade. You want to see it on my hand? So you can see it. I've already made my face for foundation. I did use this from Lumina. It's called Matte Control Oil Free Foundation Classic Beige Number no. One Full Coverage Oil to Combination Skin. And I did some light contouring with this shade from this Essence palette. For bronzer, I did use this from Shade Cover. Blush is this from H&M. Powder I did use this from LA Colors, the, the loose powder. And my lips I have this lipstick from Nordic Cap of Sweden. In this brown shade. Now for the eye look. First, I'm gonna use an eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna use this from Lumine. Take some on my hand. Like that. Then I'm gonna take this color tattoo from Maybelline in Infinite White and the brush. I'm using this brush, taking some of that, applying that because I want the colors to pop a little bit. And it's good to use a white base. I can take this brush and this white shade and stick it a little bit. And now to put the shadow that this look is about. And I will take this brush. And that color. Pack it on a little bit. Bring it to the center of my lid. Up. 
I'm taking this darker shade there. Taking that one on the outer part. A bit up in the crease. And in the outer V. So darken it up a little bit. I'm going to take this bright pink and put also in the outer and in the, the crease now back to that color back it down a little bit more then I'm going in to this white shade that one I'm using in the inner to brighten this area up see that one Brighten it up a little bit. Then I'm going over with the coral shade. I also sometimes take my finger and put it on and then pack it on a little bit. Now, I will take this brush and into this palette, I'm taking this grey shade, that's, well, this grey shade that is broken. Take that a little bit and into the crease and how do we to like darken it that pink up a little bit it, it, it's a little bit smaller and the blend then I'm, then I'm taking the pink shade in this one and going over that Blend it out a little bit. I take a pencil brush with this with the tip and into the grey shade, taking the grey and doing it in the outer corner a little bit more. This Balm bon Jovi that I have upstairs. I'm gonna take this middle shade there, this one, to so blend it out. And I take this slanted brush, put it in there to have a, a blend transition color, blending color, to blend it out a little bit. And I'm taking that on my brow. Not used to make make my makeup up, up here, so I hope I still hope it looks alright. Last time to do the lower lash line or the lower under eye area 
and I think I'm gonna do what I've been doing lately. I've been doing a green look there. So I first we go in with this golden shade, bronze gold, and this small brush. Take some gold and putting it on my low lash line. Then I'm gonna take this green color, putting over. Then I'm taking this bright green color. Then I take the gold color again. I'm going on top. And then the dark color again. Just a tiny bit. And in the, in the inner dark, I take that white, sh white shade. Going over a little bit. And then the gold to brighten it up. And it looks something like this. Now I feel it looks good for me. Now I will do some eyeliner. Oh, so, so I'm going to do a little bit on the upper lash line. You should define the eye and make my eyelashes a bit long look. Two more. Then, from mascara, I'm going to use this from Isadora Flashing Volume by Isadora. One of my favorite mascaras. I think I need a closer mi mirror for this too. So I'm gonna use this. This is how mascara brush looks like. See one coat. I would probably go in with a second coat if I was going out, but I'm just gonna be home today, so this is how it looks when it's done. I have some fallout, I think, but since I'm only gonna be home, it, it don't bother me. With a look like this, I would start with the eyeshadows and do the base after, but today I'm only going to be home, so I didn't care about that. So this is how the finished look looked like. Far away.
I hope you like this type of video and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!